Oh hi guys. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to animate in all right motion. Okay, let's get started. Warning, fast movements. If you need to slow it down, you can. Well, first you're gonna need a character. This will be my example. They you wanna go to the body sheet thing and crop every piece of the body expect the head, but you will need the rear, top hair and if there's accessories, that too unless you want to stick it to the head only. Then you will have to remove the accessories, unless like I said, they have to stick into the character's head, and also remove the rear, top head out of your character. Then green screen the background of your character and if you are making a video, just lip sync whatever you are doing. Then you will need the app Ibis Paint X. First take a screenshot of your character in full body. Then go to Ibis Paint X and put the full body of your character. Then you will need all of the pieces you screenshot it and just follow what I'm doing in the video. Also, if you have bottom accessories, they go to the full body thing you're doing. Also make sure the background is transparent. Then you will need all of the pieces of the body sheet and make sure all of the pieces are transparent and save the image and like I said, make sure when you save the image it's transparent also remember when i told you to screenshot whatever you are doing if it's lip sync or anything well that i'm my next part then go to ibis paint x and go insert the images of your character doing any face or your lip sensing then make them into folders and get the background of your character and just cut of the torso buddy with that background then save the images now the hairs and the top accessories go back to ibis paint x and get the back hairs front hairs at edge or whatever you have and the top accessories if you have them then make them transparent and follow what i do then save the images now that you have your simple body sheet and hairs and accessories it's time for the head part now you will need to go to CapCut. Once you are in CapCut, import the images of your character's head that are lip sensing to whatever you are doing. If you have a sound, you can use the sound to match the lip sensing. If not, then just use the images to whatever you please, then save the video. Now that you have the head and the body sheet thing, this comes to the most important part, the animating. So first you want to pick what size you are using for your video. Then you want to use the body sheets you made and put all of the pieces into it makes a full body that doesn't have a head. Then you will need pivot points. This is how you turn them on and off. A little time lapse if needed. Then you will need to name your layers. Press on your layer and when you see and name layer press it and you can name your layer this will be important later also name all your layers of your body sheet a little time lapse if needed also name your layers any parts of what the layers are what i have my layers as so once you name all of your layers in your body sheet and have the pivot points you're going to want to press on right shoulder then press on the button next to the trash delete and then layering parenting is very important and you will want to press try it first so then you want to press that button again and these things can't describe are here so this part may get tricky so follow first you will need to link the right shoulder to the body then you will want to link the right arm to the right shoulder and link the right finger to the right arm then do the same thing but for the left shoulder arm and finger then link the right thigh to the body torso and also link the left thigh to the body torso if you have any skirts belts bottom accessories like scarves bows link them to the body torso then you want to link the left leg to the left thigh and link the right leg to the right thigh now if you move your body torso everything in body moves even though you have layers then you can just get the green screen of the head and get the back hair s and the rear hair and if you have hat accessories that to so just import the images and the video of your head 
Then press the head and go on effects and choose chrome key and threshold to your liking. Then just pull out the pivot points and move it to the chin of the head. Then you can adjust the head however you want. Then name the layer head. Then do layer parenting and link the head to the body, torso. Then adjust the front, rear hair to your liking and name it rear or front hair. Then link the rear, front hair to the head. Then press the back hair and move it to the last layer. Then adjust it to your liking. Then put pivot points look at 308 to 315. Then name the layer and also link it to the head. Then press the left thigh and go to effects and press the effect. Parenting helper then press on the effect and for rotate. Press locked. Then do the same thing to the right thigh, body, torso, left shoulder, right shoulder. Then go rotate it. This is how it should look and be like. How keyframes work. Then do your animation. Once you're done, import the video here. Once you watch the ads, press the export button. You will have to watch an ad again. Then your video will be exporting. Then press the button save and the video will save to your camera roll. Now you can tween. It's sides awesome because you are awesome.